Joining me right now is Alex from All Time Low. And I first have to say, everybody here in New Jersey are obsessed with you guys. You have the uh, biggest fan base over here. <laughs> man, yeah, Jersey has always been like a second home to us. Even in our early days of touring right out of high school, Jersey was like the first place we went and everybody embraced us so fast there. So it's always like every time we play a show in Jersey, it feels like coming home, it's great. Our listeners love you. I would think they call in every single day, almost every single hour requesting your song. It's crazy. Let's go. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, so I first want to talk about you guys as a group, the four of you, and the fact that you started this group as high school teenagers, and here we are standing strong 15 years later. Do you know how rare that is to keep a solid friend group that long? How I know. you guys, how, like how? Uh, I, to be honest, I, I don't, I don't exactly know. Like, I feel like we've just been really good about, you know, making sure that ego never gets in the way making sure everybody feels heard and, and spoken for and accounted for in the band. Like that's always been our dynamic. We treat this thing like, you know, the four of us are brothers. Like this is a family and we've, uh, we came up together. We started this, like you said, right out of high school. So it's been, you know, we've done a lot of growing up together. And so it's just, you know, rather than growing apart, we've grown tighter knit and closer and closer. And it's just, it's great because it's like what we get to do, uh, connecting with our fans, seeing the world traveling, it's all that much more fun, like sharing it with your family. So yeah, it's, it just continues to pull us together. It's, we've yeah. been very lucky. But just like brothers, I'm sure you guys bicker and fight sometimes. What is <laughs> like the pettiest argument you guys have had? So our, our biggest argument in the band is always what our set list is going to be when we're about to go out on a tour like picking the songs that we're going to play is always like the hardest thing for us because obviously you have four different opinions and like everybody has their favorite songs and it's just like that's where we get like you know you have a limited amount of time you only get to play maybe two hours at most and so it's like you can only fit so much in there and we got a lot of records at this point so there's a lot of music and everybody wants their song in and uh yeah that's definitely where we bicker or it's usually like dumb stuff like who left the bus refrigerator open and things like that <laughs> who and clogged nobody, the toilet <laughs> yeah nobody wants to own up <laughs> so 15 years that you guys have been doing this and you know the music industry is forever changing we're now in a digital age of social media and tiktok how have you guys been able to you know follow along and stay connected with this new generation you know, I think we've always been really lucky because we as a band have always been right at the forefront of, of like whatever the next thing is. And especially as it comes to social media, like when, when our band was just starting out, you know, it was like MySpace days and like we were, we were one of the, I know it was, it's crazy to think about, but like we were one of the first bands with like a music profile on MySpace and then like, you know, Twitter fired up and Instagram and we were just, we were there through all of it. So we kind of we've been really lucky that we sort of understand how things move with the times and that it's really important to like connect with the new fans and the new audience on each of those platforms. So yeah, I mean, TikTok especially has been a crazy one for us. Like we pop punk TikTok just came back to life and like brought one of our, one of our oldest songs uh, like right to the forefront again, which has been wild. Um, Dear Maria count me in like got, had this little moment on TikTok and that's elevated the song. And it's really cool because you know, the way we look at it is like that song is from the very early days of our career. And so we have this whole generation of fans that fell in love with us back then. And now there's almost like a new audience and a new generation of fans just finding out about that song now, like 18 years later. And um, it's, it's wild to see, like, it's, it's so cool. It is crazy. Like you said, 2009 is when you wrote it or something like that. And now it's one of the biggest sounds on TikTok right now. Like who would yeah, have thought? <laughs> I think that song came out in 2008. We probably wrote it in like 2000. Seven, it's crazy. Crazy. Um, so you guys are very active on TikTok. Like I follow you guys and everything. What does your for you page look like? Ooh, um, I feel like it's a really random mix because we kind of just we lurk TikTok, like trying to figure out what we can do from our like in our little world. So like I feel like it's all over the place. I like any given moment I'll open it up and it's just like someone doing DIY. And I'm like, how did that get there? Why is this person building a garage? But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm like, I'm still learning how the algorithm works <laughs> too much. <laughs> My For You page is basically everybody doing these busted challenges and silhouette challenges. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. So let's get into your song, Monsters. It has, I mean, first of all, congratulations on, on the success of this song. Thank you. For Thank almost you. a year at this point, um, it was already a bomb song. It was a great song. Thank and then you. adding Demi just took it over the edge. What made you decide that she was the perfect fit for this song? You know, when we, when we sat down to kind of reimagine Monsters, it was 
so it was a really interesting discussion because obviously like the song had already had a, a really amazing amount of success and it connected with so many people in this way that we just hadn't expected. And then it's almost like, how do you level that up from there? How do you continue to improve something like that? And it came down to Demi because I mean, A, Demi's been a longtime friend of ours. We go, we go back for, you know, quite a ways and like have never worked together on something. So it was kind of this like, what about Demi? And she's just so good at what she does. Anything she sings on is she's incredible. She sounds great on any genre of music she performs on. Um, and she kind of has some like roots in, in the rock world. And so like we, we hit her up to see if she wanted to be a part of it and she was all about it. She wanted to collaborate with, uh, with Bear as well. So it was kind of like this perfect storm uh, of all three of us coming together. And yeah, I mean, she just took it to the next level and it was, it worked out, you know, that whole, the, everything with that song along the way has been this like really beautiful, happy accident where like just things keep falling into place for it. It's been awesome. Yeah, it kind of was like a gradual build. And at what point did you say, oh snap, like this is like a big song, one of the biggest in the world. What there was that been, moment like? Yeah, there, I can't, I honestly, I can't like chalk it down to one moment because there just continued to be so many like, when it was over at alt radio, it, you know, hit top 10. And we were like, oh my gosh, our first top 10. Then it hit five. And we were like, oh my gosh, our first top five. Then it went to number one. Then it stayed at number one for like months. And now, you know, we're, we're sort of like, it, now it's like top 20 at pop. And it's just, yeah, there just continue to be these milestones that we've never really had in our band's career before. And it's just very cool to see like 15, 16 years in uh, that like things are still connecting. It's awesome. Yeah, that's why the song is so great because people who love different genres can yeah. vibe out to the song. For sure. Uh, so you have the animated lyric version, you have the acoustic music video. Are we going to get one, a music video with Demi? It's kind of funny. So like, obviously videos have been really challenging during the pandemic because, uh, you know, just shooting on lockdown terms are, are pretty difficult, pretty challenging. Um, and then you have the idea of like, you know, there's Bear, there's Demi, there's like three different camps involved. So we've been trying to make something work, but it's tricky. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We actually shot a whole video for Monsters that didn't end up coming out. It was during like full on lockdown and it was supposed to be this this thing of us doing the video from quarantine and it was so bad that we <laughs> we didn't put it out so so maybe maybe like we got to redeem ourselves and do a sick video I'm sure if it was bad I'm so sure your fans would want to see it so maybe just throw the clips up just as I know I think we I think we have to for sure you have to we can all yeah. laugh together totally. um, speaking of the pandemic um I guess I mean I'm sure it was hard for you guys because you guys thrive off of live shows and you yeah. haven't been able to have that. And so not only could you not see your fans, you couldn't even see each other, I assume. So how did the four of you stay connected? Like, was it hard missing your best friends? Like, what was that like? It was really tough. I mean, it's been tough on everybody in so many different ways. And, um, you know, I think for us, the hardest part was we had this record out in April, right? Last April, right? When things got really shut down and really bad. And, um, you know, it was just, it was just tough because, we, as you said, like our biggest connection is with our fans and with our audience and it's from the stage to the crowd and to not have any of that during like what felt like a really important record cycle for us took its toll. It was, it was really like upsetting and, and hard for us to not be able to be out there and, and see everybody. And, um, but we found, we found really amazing ways to still connect. I think that was like the, one of the bright lights throughout a, a pretty you know tough year for us was connecting with each other like basically doing this we were we were doing zoom calls and we were doing i know i saw the happy and, hour that you guys did yeah, that was cute yeah. <laughs> so we were like we were just trying to think of anything there were like no no bad ideas basically was how we were approaching it it was like we'll just try everything and whatever sticks we'll we'll keep going with and yeah we did um we did this concert series that we shot in nashville that was really fun and and live streamed those and it was really cool because we had never done a concert series like that where people we were able to watch from all over the world at the same time and that was very cool it felt like it was really bringing the fan base together and it felt special you know it was like we were we would sit there and, and feel connected with everybody and that's really unique at a time like this yeah for sure okay yeah. so pretend that you're going on spring on tour this spring let's go walk us through what's gonna the set list is gonna be oh, uh, man. what features what guests are gonna pop out what's the stage look like like set this picture for us <laughs> So many flashing lights. It's always so many flashing lights. Um, I mean, I we have not played Monsters live yet. Wow. Yeah. It's time. So that's <laughs> kind of crazy. Like, it's insane to think that we it's a year removed almost from the album coming out and we still haven't played 
arguably like our biggest song yet live. So I'm really excited for that. It would be incredible to get Bear out and Demi out and just get to share that moment. I'm very much looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to play, you know, a lot of the new songs we haven't gotten to explore. So everything from Wake Up Sunshine will be a lot of fun. And then obviously I think it's going to be cool the next time we get to play Dear Maria, now that it's kind of had a second moment on TikTok, like I feel like that's just going to be even more of an exciting special moment in the set. So yeah, yeah, we got some good ones to look forward to. Speaking of Wake Up Sunshine, if there is any other song on the album that you could reimagine, what song would it be and who would you put on it? Man, that is a good one. Um, I would, you know what? Let's go Shawn Mendes on Clumsy. Yeah. I can hear that. Be kind of cool. We got to make that happen somehow. <laughs> Let's call him. <laughs> Let's do it. Look, I got to say, no, I don't. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, okay, so to wrap this up, um, we have some fan questions. Basically, I yeah. asked, what do you want to know that you've never heard? What do the fans want to know that you, they, they can't Google or anything like that, right? So sure. uh, was the name All Time Low like your first option for the band name or was there any other options? No, we had, we had a lot of bad band names first. Um, we went through a lot. Well, like, I'm trying to think it's, it's, so there was, I want to say like Jack came in with, I want to say Jack, our guitar player wanted us to be called playground X and I have no idea why. <laughs> and I'm really glad we squashed that one. I don't know. I have no you idea. Playground like, no. X. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We were young. We were, yeah, <laughs> we were you, in high you, you were kids. You were in high school. Yeah, yeah. we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what were you guys like in high school? Were you guys like jocks? Were you the band geeks, nerds, bullies? You know, we like. I feel like we never really. We didn't really fit into a group, to be honest. I feel like we had a lot of friends in like different little cliques, and and I never really felt like I I fit in all that much to one specific thing. I just kind of like I had my friends, and I bounced around and um that was that was fine for me okay um yeah. who was the oldest who's the youngest um I am the oldest uh but like we're all we were all born really close so like um I'm December 14th 87 Ryan is literally four days younger than me wow so he, yeah, yeah yeah he's the 18th and then we got uh Zach is April 20th 88 and then Jack is uh June 18th so nice. he's the baby Jack's the baby <laughs> of course <laughs> um okay so what is your favorite place to tour and why is it new jersey honestly <laughs> it's up there it really is up there i said it already like jersey always treats us like a second home it always feels like a hometown show um it's, it's a really special place for us um outside of the states i would probably have to go with maybe japan we have so much fun in japan and it's such a cool unique beautiful country to, to play shows in but literally, like, there are so many great places all around the world that we have just had, like, unforgettable memories. You know, Brazil, South America, like, all over South America, the fans are so wild. Europe, the UK, we've been very, very fortunate to see a lot of the world doing what we do. And, you know, the fan bases everywhere are absolutely gorgeous and very kind to us. Well, let's hope that this pandemic, you know, wraps up soon and we can get back to live shows so we can see yeah. you guys out there. I know. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much, Alex. Um, good luck with the rest of your year. Monsters is amazing. It's out now. We'll look thank forward you. to your crossed in music video. And thank yeah. you for joining me on PSD. Thanks so much. And thank you for supporting the song.